Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create and restore system image backups in Linux using a free tool called FoxClone. So FoxClone is made to do things such as make uh, system image backups and also for cloning your hard drive. So we did some videos using this tool so we were able to clone a drive in Linux using it, clone a Windows drive using it, and then also do a Windows system image backup using FoxClone. So it's not just for Linux. All right, so this computer has two drives, its main OS drive, and then a backup drive here. And I already have one backup from earlier, system image backup. So now we're going to make another one, and then we will restore it and see how it works. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download the Fox Clone ISO file, and then use your favorite tool to make a bootable flash drive or CD from it. And then you'll have to have your computer boot to that flash drive or CD to load the Fox Clone program. All right, so I have mine ready to go, so I'm going to shut down the computer, uh, plug it in, and then boot up to it, and then we'll start the backup process. All right, so here is our Fox Clone menu here. So we can start Fox Clone, start it up in safe mode, check our USB for defects, or run a memory test, but we're just going to go into Fox Clone. So press Enter. All right, so now we have our Fox Clone desktop with our little start menu here with some other tools. If you want to use things like Gparted or file recovery, that type of thing. So we're just going to start Fox Clone by opening up the app right here. So now it's going to read the disks. Okay, so now we're on the backup tab here. So we need to choose the drive we're going to backup, which is our 80 gig drive here. And here are the partitions we're going to back up. We're going to back up all the partitions on that drive. And then the destination here is going to be our 100 gig drive. So we're going to check that here, not the CD-ROM. And then destination partition. So there's just one partition on this drive. So we'll check the box there. So drive to back up your OS drive. What partitions you're backing up. All the partitions on that OS drive. The destination drive. And then the destination partition if you have more than one. All right, then we'll click on Save to File. All right, we're going to make a new folder called Backup 2. All right, then we're going to click on Save. All right, so here's our confirmation box here. So backing up these partitions here to this destination here. So we'll click on OK. All right, so we'll let this run. This will take a few minutes, so we'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. All right, so the backup is complete. It only took about three minutes, so there's not a lot on this computer. So uh, how long it takes is going to depend on how big your drives are and how much data you have on them. All right, so we're going to click on Finish and Quit. All right, so now we're going to boot back into Linux here, take a look at the backup, and then we'll try a restore. All right, so we're booted up. Let's take a look at our backup. All right, so here's our first one, and here's our second one. All right, so now we're going to make a change here. So let's say we create a new folder here. All right, after backup, let's change the background. Okay, so now we're going to boot back into the Fox clone software and do the restore and then when we come back into Linux this desktop should be back to the gray one we had before and this folder should be gone and that'll tell us that the restore worked. Alright so reboot again. Okay we're going to start Fox Clone again. All right, so we'll run the app again. Okay, this time we're going to go to the Restore tab. This full screen so we can see it all here. All right, so now we're going to choose the drive that has the backup on it, which is our 100 gig drive here, and the partition containing the backup file. So this is opposite of what you did when you created the backup where you pick the source drive first. All right, we've got backup two here. There's our backup file. 
So we'll click on open. So here are the contents of the backup file here with our 80 gig drive and the destination going to our 80 gig drive. All right, so source drive is the 100 gig drive with the 100 gig partition. The backup shows our 80 gig backup here going back to the 80 gig hard drive. All right, so we're going to click on restore. Have a confirmation again, click on OK. All right, so we'll let this run again and then we'll pause the video and be back when it's complete. All right, so the restore is complete. It only took a couple minutes. You can view the log if you want. We're just going to click on finish. It's going to read the drive again. All right, we'll click on quit. Now we're going to boot back into Linux and see if the restore process was successful. All right, so we're loaded back into Linux, and you can see we have our gray desktop back, and then also that new folder that we created is now gone, which tells us that we restored our operating system back to that previous backup that we just made earlier. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to do and comes in handy. So one thing you need to keep in mind when it comes to system image backups is that they're only as good as the date and time you made them. So for example, let's say you made a backup six months ago, and then you restore that backup, your computer is going to be reverted to the state it was uh, six months ago, including your files and updates and that kind of thing. So if you're doing file level backups as well, that could help because then you could just restore your operating system and programs and then restore your files from your regular file backup and be back in business that way. So it's a good idea to do both. So don't just rely on the system image backup as your only backup. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Box clone and you can try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.